London attacked police officer Keith Palmer among five dead as terror strikes in the heart of Westminster. Five people including police officer Keith Palmer were killed in London's bloodiest terror attack since 7 forward slash 7. Around 40 people were injured as a car mowed down pedestrians on Westminster Bridge while terrified tourists ran for their lives. The knifeman then stabbed a policeman before being shot dead by armed officers near the Houses of Parliament. The policeman was named on Wednesday evening as Keith Palmer, a 48-year-old husband and father, who was a member of the Diplomatic Protection Service. Mr. Palmer later died despite frantic efforts to save him by bystanders including a serving MP. A woman was also among those who died in the attack, which is the bloodiest since the 7 forward slash 7 London bombings in 2005 when 56 people were killed. Three other police officers were also injured during the carnage. The Met's acting deputy commissioner and head of counter-terrorism Mark Rowley confirmed on Wednesday evening that five people were killed, including the police officer and his attacker. He said police were treating the attack as Islamist-related terrorism. The Met, British Transport Police and City of London Police all stepped up patrols after the attack. The Met have opened up their casualty bureau so people can check on loved ones. Dep Con Rowley said, one of those who died today was a police officer, PC Keith Palmer, a member of our Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command. Keith, aged 48, had 15 years service and was a husband and a father. He was someone who left for work today expecting to return home at the end of his shift and he had every right to expect that would happen. I can also now confirm three members of the public also lost their lives in this attack. Specially trained family liaison officers will be deployed to support them. And I confirmed earlier, the suspected attacker was shot dead by an armed officer, therefore meaning we now have five people in total who have died. After the attack unfolded MP Tobias Elwood was joined by paramedics who battled to save the life of the stricken officer as he lay on the cobbled courtyard in front of parliament. Eyewitness Rick Longley said, we were just walking up to the station and there was a loud bang and a guy, someone, crashed a car and took some pedestrians out. They were just laying there and then the whole crowd just surged around the corner by the gates just opposite Big Ben. A guy came past my right shoulder with a big knife and just started plunging it into the policeman. I have never seen anything like that. I just can't believe what I just saw. Other witnesses described scenes of terror as the Hyundai i-40 sped across the bridge before the stabbing, with one woman apparently jumping into the Thames to avoid the vehicle. A group of French school children were also among those targeted by the killer. Three students, aged between 15 and 16, were wounded with one ending up on the roof of the car. Prime Minister Theresa May was seen being ushered into a silver Jaguar in the grounds of the palace as gunfire rang out at around 2. 45 p.m. The sitting of the House of Commons was suspended and MPs were told to stay in their chambers. Commons leader David Lidington told MPs, what I am able to say to the House is there has been a serious incident within the estate. It seems that a police officer has been stabbed, that the alleged assailant was shot by armed police. Meanwhile, members of the Met's armed counter-terror unit were deployed to Parliament and a swathe of the area was placed on lockdown. An air ambulance landed in Parliament Square and a regular ambulance came in through the front gates as medics rushed to help. Quinton Letts, the Daily Mail's parliamentary sketchwriter, said he saw a man in black attack a police officer outside Parliament before being shot two or three times as he tried to storm into the House of Commons. He told the BBC, I saw a thick-set man in black clothes come through the gates into New Palace Yard, just below Big Ben. He had something in his hand, it looked like a stick of some sort, and he was challenged by a couple of policemen in yellow jackets. And one of the yellow jacketed policemen fell down and we could see the man in black moving his arm in a way that suggested he was stabbing or striking the yellow jacketed policeman. The other officer ran to get help and the man in black ran about 15 yards towards the entrance. He added, as this attacker was running towards the entrance two plain cloaked guys with guns shouted at him what sounded like a warning, he ignored it and they shot two or three times and he fell. 
witnesses described seeing a heavyset man carrying a knife and running towards the Houses of Parliament. Jane Wilkinson said, we were taking photos of Big Ben and we saw all the people running towards us, and then there was an Asian guy in about his 40s carrying a knife about 7 or 8 inches long. And then there were three shots fired, and then we crossed the road and looked over. The man was on the floor with blood. He had a lightweight jacket on, dark trousers and a shirt. He was running through those gates, towards Parliament, and the police were chasing him. A group of young boxers who witnessed the attack said the terrorist pursued the officer. Fraser Clark, 25, from Burton-on-Trent, said, We heard a loud bang and screaming and then I noticed some smoke. I thought it was a car crash. I looked towards the front gate and people were running, a police officer and a fellow coming to the gate with two knives. He was stabbing the police officer with the knives. He was wearing black tracksuit bottoms, a black of grey top and what looked like work boots. The police officer was stumbling and fell on the floor. Another police officer walked toward the guy with the knives and shot him twice. I didn't think they were proper bullets, they seemed like rubber bullets. Pat McCormick, 21, from Washington in Tainan where, added, I saw him stabbing the officer in the back of the head and the back of the neck. He was running away but then he collapsed. A witness, who did not want to be named, saw Mrs May and her undercover police detail near the area of Parliament where ministerial cars are parked. He said there were undercover officers in a 4x4 vehicle in the car park. We just heard gunshots inside Parliament, he said. It looked like they are taking her away. Police on Wednesday evening urged the public to remain vigilant. Anyone with information should call 0800 789 321.